Hi, everyone. I hope you've all had a good week. I'm here in the sanctuary this evening, getting ready for Palm Sunday. It's a couple of days ahead of time as I'm recording this. But I'm in here and I'm looking at our stained glass windows that tell the story of the life of Jesus. And I'm looking especially today at the windows that tell the stories of Holy Week, beginning with Palm Sunday. Now, in Sunday school over the last couple of weeks, we have done some of the other events of Holy Week already. We've talked about the Last Supper and Jesus being arrested. But we're going to start today at the beginning, when Jesus first arrived in Jerusalem. It's a wonderful story. And the stories of Holy Week, I love revisiting them every year because they are so compelling. They are, there is so much in them. Every time I, re I hear them, I learn something new. And I was thinking about that, how powerful stories can be. There's a wonderful st set of stories I love called The Lord of the Rings. And there's a character in there named Samwise Gamgee. And Sam is someone who goes with a friend on a difficult journey to help his friend. And on a really hard day, they're talking about stories and why they're doing this. And Sam has a wonderful quote, and he says, It's like in the great stories, the ones that really mattered. Those were the stories that stayed with you, that meant something, even if you were too small to understand why. And that, to me, is what the stories of Holy Week are. They are these great stories that tell us of the love and courage that Jesus has. And these are stories that matter, and they mean something. And every time we hear them, we find something new in them. So let's talk about Palm Sunday. So Jesus arrived in Jerusalem for Passover with the disciples. And as they came near the city, Jesus told two of his disciples to go ahead into the town. And he said that they would see a young donkey that they're tied there that had never been ridden. Untie the donkey and bring it to me. If anyone asks what you are doing, tell them the Lord needs it. He will send it back to you soon. The disciples did what Jesus told them to do, and it happened just as he said it would. They found the young donkey and untied it and started to lead it away. And some men were standing nearby, and they said to the disciples, Where are you taking that young donkey? They told them what Jesus had said, and the men let them take the donkey. The disciples brought the young donkey to Jesus, and they put their coats on it to make a soft place for Jesus to sit. And as they made their way into the city of Jerusalem, people went ahead of Jesus, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Others followed behind, and they were also shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Hosanna in the highest! All the while, people lined the streets, cheering and waving palm branches. It was a wonderful celebration as people cheered loudly for Jesus. And it was a wonderful day of celebration. 2,000 years ago, people celebrated the arrival of Jesus. And when they yelled Hosanna, what they were saying was, save us. That's what that word means. Save us, Lord. And of course, that's just what Jesus came to do, isn't it? And what better way to celebrate Jesus than by waving our palms on Palm Sunday and remembering the love that Jesus bears us and the courage that he showed in the events of the week that followed. So take good care. Have a good week. Wave your palms. Think about what some of the events happened starting this weekend as we head into Easter and the wonderful celebration that awaits after some of the difficult stories we're going to read this week. Take good care. Wear your masks, wash your hands, and God bless. Bye, everyone. See you next time.